What's up guys, 3 k Gaming here and welcome back to some more Universe Sandbox 2 and today we're going to be looking at what if Earth was closer to the Sun so yeah let's get straight into this video and see what happens alright so first we're going to pause so let's pause it up here and so basically what we should do is get Earth and replace it with Venus first and see what actually happens to Earth when we when it's the second planet closest to the Sun instead of the third so let's try it out so the way we should do it is um, basically I think we should just delete that one and go to Venus go down to here and basically add Earth back on its own orbit so probably around about there that should do it and maybe probably best to delete Venus too so now if we play it it should orbit around and replace Venus there we go that's awesome look at that okay it kind of worked I was hoping that would work <laughs> it worked okay good right now Earth is the second closest planet to the Sun and let's see what happens to it so right now we're going 14 days a second and as you can see right here the um, temperature is increasing quite a lot so it's like minute 50 degrees and uh, let's actually see if anything's actually happened so far I don't think anything's happened yet but yeah let's con let's uh let's continue maybe speed up a tiny bit more see what actually happens to earth so it, it whoa you <laughs> the temperature is increasing quite a lot now so yeah I'm pretty sure most life would have died on earth by now and yeah it's very rapidly increasing all right so we're up to 80 88 degrees right now on earth let's actually pause it and see oh my god okay stuff has some water has evaporated around Australia and the ice caps have melted um, they're probably the first thing to go yep both of them have melted uh, it's kind of dark so let's try and speed it up a little bit let's change it a bit and it's still dark okay All right let's slow it down instead and let's see what's happened so far so around the coast of America lots of water has evaporated and the oceans haven't evaporated yet so that's pretty cool a lot of water around here has evaporated that's the South Pole um, around here too in Europe a lot of lakes and a lot of the coast a lot of water has evaporated around there so that's not good a lot of water around Florida uh, yep let's speed it up a bit more and see what else happens so we're hitting about 94 degrees 95 96 is it gonna get it to 100 oh my god I think it's about to hit 100 Oh no, it's staying at 97, 96, whoa, so we're going pretty fast now, we're going about 7 days a second, um, yeah, so mo most, obviously like, the oceans haven't evaporated, so that's pretty good, hmm, oh crap, we've actually reached 106 degrees surface temperature right now, that's insane. Um, what else? Alright, so we're a few years into the future right now, and it's 108 degrees surface temperature, so I'm pretty sure most life is um, dead. So, yeah, we got more islands up here down here. I don't know if they were there originally, but uh, yeah, a lot of water has definitely evaporated from the planet. Like, mostly lakes, um, coast around the coasts of everywhere basically and yeah okay let's step it up a little further now so what we're gonna do now is we're going to put earth where mercury is and see what happens to it then if it's going to be the closest planet to the sun so right let's do this so let's see what happens if earth was the closest planet to the sun now so let's get rid of Mercury and slow it down a little bit and let's play. 
go. There it is now. It's the it's officially the closest planet to the sun. So as we can see now, I think the ice caps are melting rapidly. Um so whoa, and the South Pole. Yep. That's that's pretty much screwed too. And yeah. Let's watch the temperature increase. So if we zoom out a bit. That's yeah, that's pretty scary. Being closer to the sun. Alright, so let's speed it up a tiny bit more. And see what happens. So we're already about nearly 100 degrees on surface temperature right now. Alright, we've uh, reached about 124, 125, 130. Oh my god, let's pause this. Let's see what we've got here. Oh my god. Well, you can safely say it's pretty screwed right about now. A lot of things are evaporating. All the waters are going. The oceans are starting to evaporate too, so that's when you know it's getting hot. So, so let's pause this and see what we got. All right, so a lot of the um, Pacific Ocean is um, evaporating. All this over here by the looks of it. If I can get it daylight here. Let's see over here. Whoa. Alright, so a lot. There's literally no water except a little bit over there. Um, there's no water around Europe at all except this. Um, the Atlantic. Whoa. That's a lot of missing water. Alright then. Let's speed it up even more and see what happens. Let's go about 5 or 6. Okay, 14 days a second. So we're at 150 odd degrees surface temperature right now. I think all the water has evaporated. Almost all the water has gone now. Oh my god. It's pretty much screwed now. I can guarantee there's no life now. Definitely no life. So we've got Mars over here. Just chilling. And... Earth, not doing pretty. It's not doing so well. Uh, there's literally no water on Earth now. I don't think none at all. We're at 170 odd degrees surface temperature. It's basically an an uninhabited planet now. And there's no life on this planet. But I c wait, wait a second. There's still water. Wait, what? Did this just wait? Did this just appear out of nowhere or something? I don't even know what's going on there. Apparently there's still war, but now it's gone again and we're at 200 degrees surface temperature. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes there's war up here and I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, oh my god, what's going on? What? Whoa. Okay, that orbit's really, really trippy. Uh, let's slow it down a bit. So yeah, basically I don't think anything else is happening. I guess Earth is as hot as Mercury, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah. That's basically what would happen to Earth. It would be an uninhabitable planet, have no water on it, and no life. If it was the closest planet to the sun, even if it was just a tiny bit out of the um, Goldilocks zone, which is the habitable place in the solar system for life, uh, Earth would be pretty much screwed. I mean, if it was further away, out where Mars is, it would be cold, t way too cold. And if it was any closer, like t like Venus is, then it's going to be way too hot for any life on the planet. So, yeah, it's pretty much what would actually happen to Earth if it was, if it was closer to the sun. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smack the like button. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe because... I will be uploading more of these videos in the future, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And hope you did enjoy this video, and yeah, that's what would happen to Earth if it was close to planet to the sun, or any closer, it would be screwed. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, 
and you can also leave down in the comments below what you want me to do next like suggest something I'll probably do it and yeah that's gonna be it and I'll see you in the next video peace out